Are you a gay man? Are you single? Gay men are using these techniques to go from chronically single to properly partnered, breaking the hookup cycle for good. If you give me the next few minutes of your time, I'll show you my approach to ending the cycle of chronic singlehood, stopping the merry-go-round of wasted time due to meaningless dates and hookups once and for all, meet a man whom you're not only attracted to, but is an appropriate match for you and serious about wanting a real relationship. Not to have to always wonder and ask yourself if there's something wrong with you because you're still single. And create a true intimate connection with a partner who shares your values, goals, and sense of commitment. This is not for you if you only want to meet Mr. Right Now. If you're only looking for quick and easy and think that being properly partnered doesn't require you to make any changes. If you're satisfied with meeting someone new every month and just seeing where it goes. You consider chatting with guys on apps satisfying and fulfilling as a social dating outlet. If you don't want to learn about your personality strengths and weaknesses in relationships. If you have the opinion that relationships shouldn't require effort and that it's, if it's meant to be, then things should just flow smoothly all the time. If you're not curious about the reasons why you have remained single. Or if you think it's everyone else's fault that you're single. Or if you just don't think often or care much about what you want in your life. You may have tried going out after, night after night, endless hours on the apps, Grindr, Scruff, OkCupid, okay Tinder, etc. Hookups and encounters that rarely lead to a second or third date. Spending thousands of dollars on dating or matchmaking services. Awkward meetings and dates. Finding men who don't want the same things you do. Uh, years of expensive therapy. Or... Meetings that just leave you wondering, what am I doing with this person? You may have even tried just passively hoping and praying to meet the right person someday. Let's take the example of one single gay man I helped. M had everything. A career with a good job, financially stable, nice apartment and car, very handsome too. He had been years on the dating apps, but was still single. What M needed to see was that he had expectations of what being in love was that just weren't the reality. This caused him to unwittingly dismiss many potential partners. And by removing these unconscious expectations, we were able to help him become properly partnered. Then there's Jay. His dysfunctional family made him feel like he was second class because he was gay. He really wanted to properly partner. His dates left him feeling confused, empty, and alone. By helping Jay understand his unconscious mind, damaged by his early family life, we were able to completely change who he was attracted to, and now he can properly partner. F was successful, but it had a traumatic breakup. He felt damaged by his past relationship. In our work together, we uncovered the emotional defenses he had built up in his unconscious mind. Replacing them with healthy vulnerability helped him let the right people in so he could love again. I'm Dr. Greg Pizzi. I'm a clinical and forensic psychologist, certified Imago relationship therapist, and a board-certified sex therapist. I'm a member of the American Psychological Association and the Gay and Lesbian Medical Association. The focus of my private practice is sex and relationship therapy, and I have over 25 years of experience working as a psychologist with gay men. I've helped countless couples, both gay and straight, establish meaningful connection and intimacy and find true love even after all hope had been lost. I'm also a gay man who's been on my own relationship journey. I've been single, partnered, divorced, single again, and now I'm married to the man of my dreams. I've been through it all. By combining my education, my professional background, and training as a psychologist with my own personal life experiences and my own relationships, I'm well equipped to connect with, understand, and help other gay men on their own relationship journey. Here are some of the common myths I've heard. Gay men aren't capable of intimacy. All gay men cheat eventually, so it's no point trying to find a stable partner. Gay men only want sex or gay men are all looking for a specific body type. 
All the good men are taken. If I get into a relationship, I'll have to sacrifice my peace. If I get into a relationship, that means I'll never be able to have sex with anyone else unless I cheat on my partner. If I have a relationship, I'll be strapped down and lose my freedom and independence. I don't have what it takes, or I don't have the time, to be in a relationship. It's just way too hard to be in a relationship. If you're a chronically single gay man, these are the changes that you need to make in order to become properly partnered. Number one, identify and disarm the chronically single behaviors that are unconsciously preventing you from meeting available men who want a real relationship. So why do I say you're unconsciously blocking a real relationship? Well, as human beings, our unconscious behavior is about 90% of what we do every day, and only about 10% of our actions are conscious or deliberate. We've been programmed by life to think, feel, and act a certain way, and that includes our attitudes about relationships. Our surroundings, such as parents, culture, media, affect our worldview and make it confusing or even downright impossible for us to figure out who we really are and what we want. There's just too much noise going on. And our past relationships profoundly affect our present. So your unconscious programming is actually blocking you from meeting your true partner through habits you're unaware of that you don't even know you're doing. You need to learn to let go of what's holding you back or no longer serves you. Because if you don't understand what you're doing, you can't effectuate any changes and you're going to keep making the same mistakes over and over, remaining right where you are. So by releasing the expectations that are actually blocking you, you open yourself up to receiving what you really want. Love often doesn't look the way you expect it to. Number two, learn to use your relationship with yourself to discover what you truly want and turn it into a reality. Romantic love begins with the self. We're going to go deep into how you treat yourself and how that drives the way you unconsciously set yourself up to be treated by others. We'll complete the journey from your head to your heart, releasing the defenses that close you off from receiving love. By achieving healthy vulnerability, you will learn how to let the right people in. Number three. Master the rules of dating and engagement that actually lead to relationships, allowing your most desirable qualities to shine through. How do you know if a man's available? You must have the right tools. How to express your interest. How to respond to a guy's interest. How to communicate effectively with a date, hookup, or lover. Otherwise, intimacy will not occur. I'll teach you how to nurture a potential love interest into a proper, viable relationship. Once you've achieved this, you're going to spend less time looking and more time creating and connecting with men on an intimate, romantic level. You'll quickly recognize the men who are going to waste your time so that you can move on right away to more realistic options. You're no longer going to seek to have your needs met by men who are not willing or able to grant that to you. Allow love and connection into your life by unblocking the emotional defenses that don't serve a protective purpose anymore. You'll feel more attractive inside and out and become a master at attracting the men who are also attracted to you. So, now you have a choice. Option one is to solve this on your own. The advantages would be it's free. You'll have all your free time to yourself. You won't have to look inside yourself and discover hidden parts of your personality you may find unpleasant. You won't have to be accountable to anyone for your choices or share any intimate details of your personal life. You won't have to think about your life or your future or your relationship status. And you won't have to ask yourself whether you're truly happy. The disadvantages of trying to solve this on your own would be You'd have to do your own investigation and research into what hidden parts of your personality have been holding you back from true intimacy. You'll attempt the difficult task of being objective enough about yourself to be able to identify and change the unconscious behaviors that prevent you from connecting with another man. You'll continue to spend months or years of trial and error as you try to guess what it is that you need to do and how to do it. 
You'll make critical mistakes that set you back, not forward, thus reinforcing the hurt, bitterness, disappointment, and despair. You may decide to give up along the way, and once you hit a stumbling block, because you don't have the accountability and guidance to help you make changes. Your other option is to let me help you. If you choose this option, we'll get right to work on solving your chronic singlehood in an intense, goal-oriented program that gets results in just a few short months. Quickly identify and eradicate what hidden behaviors have been keeping you single all this time. Solve the problem within a structured, supportive program that requires less time and money than years of therapy, receiving my direct help and support as I guide you closely through the process. Dramatically increase your chances of meeting an appropriate partner so that you can move on and enjoy the rest of your life the way you want. Working with me, you'll get peer advice, guidance, and support from other gay guys who are in the same boat as you and also want to create a meaningful love relationship. You'll be able to ask me questions and get my feedback about your specific situation when we meet together. You'll keep yourself accountable to your goal of becoming properly partnered by sharing your progress, not only with me, but with a whole support community of other gay men who share similar values to you. Now, doing this allows you to make the required changes in yourself now before the right guy comes along so that you can be ready and prepared for the real thing when it happens. Here's what can happen if you don't do this. You may remain single. You will either continue to chase unavailable men or you'll resign to substandard unfulfilling relationships. You will conform to fleeting or partial intimacy with guys who meet some of your needs, but just aren't there for you in the long run. You'll continue to go stag to events and parties and miss out on the joy of sharing holidays and other major life events with someone special. You may struggle with chronic loneliness as you grow older in a society and culture that prioritizes couples. You won't live out your dream of falling in love and building a relationship or home with the man of your dreams. And if you have children or want kids, you may raise them by yourself. And finally, you may grow old alone. Here's what can happen if you do do this. You'll start meeting only the kind of men you like and are attracted to. You'll only allow men who are a proper fit for you into your life and your schedule. You'll actually have fun on your dates and hookups until you're ready to focus your energy on one person. You'll have desirable, healthy interactions with available men who want the same things you do. Meet the man who's an appropriate match for you, allowing true intimacy and connection into your life. And of course, become properly partnered with your true love and the man of your dreams. This week, I'm going to admit three single gay men into my confidential group that teaches how to identify relationship obstacles and meet a true, proper partner. To qualify to join, you must be a single gay man, motivated to identify your chronically single behaviors and become properly partnered, friendly, coachable, and willing to make changes in your attitudes and behavior as they relate to other men, dating, and sex. Curious about yourself as an evolving, imperfect human being with both strengths and weaknesses while being receptive to suggestions and feedback. Open to new ways of thinking about yourself, other people, life, and love. Having the right help dramatically increases your chances of meeting your right partner. I've been there too. I've gone through similar challenges and I've learned to overcome the same obstacles becoming properly partnered myself. Learn the right way to connect on a real level once and for all from a trained, qualified relationship professional. I've set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you about ending your cycle of singlehood and making becoming properly partnered a reality for you. Use the information below this video to contact me now.